It is now 11:16 on this uh, Wednesday night. Betsy, it's is it too early to look ahead for the weekend? Never too late to look ahead to the weekend, especially because it's Wednesday. <laughs> we start looking ahead to the weekend on Monday, typically here <laughs> at Three News. Uh, for tomorrow, uh, we are anticipating starting off with muggy conditions, but by the end of the day, that less humid air that we have been advertising all week will finally be trickling in, and we have a phenomenal ending to the day, which, as mentioned, will set us up beautifully for the weekend. Tomorrow, we'll uh, see the improving conditions filtering in during the Guardians game. First pitch is at 110 against the Tigers. Those winds turning around to the north at 5 to 10. Isolated shower chances will stay with us tonight. A lot of these showers have been off to the south so far. That is where a cold front sits. That cold front is having a tough time making it out of the area and in the meantime we still have chances for a few isolated showers overnight. There's been a few little blips on the radar here in southern portions of Michigan so that's really kind of the last spoke of energy that will be filtered through but more importantly with that area of low pressure that has been the dominating force here in our forecast over the last 48 hours will slowly but surely be moving out and it will be taking that cold front with it. So that cold front, the leading edge of cooler air and temperatures right now throughout northern portions of Michigan are down into the low 50s and that's kind of a harbinger of where things are going to be going for us, not necessarily the temperatures but it's relative to the humidity and our dew point temperatures are much lower here in the northern part of the Great Lakes region and that air will be moving in as we head through the day tomorrow. As a matter of fact, our dew point temperatures will be dropping in the afternoon. Look at this. We start the day with these humid conditions, those dew points still in the 60s and by the end of the afternoon and into the evening, the dew points drop back into the 50s. So if you've been kind of putting off grilling or doing any outdoor activities because it's just been too humid, maybe you have some breathing problems. Tomorrow evening is going to be great. And as uh, we keep telling you, Friday and, and into the weekend is just going to be awesome for us. Let's take you through your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. The isolated shower chances will remain with us tonight. I think it'd be about maybe a 20 to 30 percent chance. More importantly, it's patchy fog that will greet you in the morning, and I have a feeling that's what our forecast model is picking up is that chance for some fog, although we can't rule out a random shower in the morning. Uh, daybreak temperatures are going to be in the 60s. 8 a.m. will be sitting right around 70 degrees, and through the middle part of the day, we are still going to have a lot of clouds. We're still going to be muggy, and you can see that the temperatures are in the upper 70s. Late in the afternoon, though, here comes that dry air. We will be clearing out. We have a stunning uh, sunset that is setting up for us. And more importantly, that north wind coming in, and that will just kind of put the chill on everything so that by Friday morning, we are talking about those low temperatures dipping back into the 50s across the area. And the rest of your Medina Country Club forecast shapes up like this. It's a quick hit of this cool dry air because we are going to be warming up and we are going to be importing more humidity through the weekend. All ultimately leading us to scattered rain and storm chances on what is probably going to be a muggy next week as temperatures just about every day peaking in the upper 80s to low 90s. So a hot streak is coming back our way. There we go. All right, Betsy, thank you.